United States President Joe Biden has authorised the deployment of another 7,000 troops to Germany to bolster the 14,000 already in Europe as a result of Russia's attack on Ukraine. This is on top of the 80,000 normally stationed in Europe. But none of these brigades will include the one American who should feel more obliged than most to defend Ukraine, a man who has profited handsomely from the nation over recent years, the president's own son, Hunter. Hunter Biden was a director of Burisma, a Ukrainian energy company, from May 2014 until April 2019. In that time, he earned about US $3.9 million in director's fees. But however much he benefited from Ukraine, he never felt a strong tie to the nation. He never learned the language or spent more time there than he needed to. In a statement released in 2019, he described his role at Burisma as limited to, quote, corporate governance best practices to facilitate Burisma's desire to expand globally, unquote. That global expansion included trying to broker a deal between Burisma and Kazakhstani Prime Minister Karim Masimov. In 2015, Hunter was photographed at a Washington restaurant with Masimov, Kazakh businessman Kengis Rakashev and Hunter's father, then Vice President Joe Biden. Joe Biden says he wasn't there to discuss his son's business. Masimov was arrested in Kazakhstan last month on charges of treason. He's not the only acquaintance of Hunter Biden to appear in court lately. His former business partner and fellow Burisma director Devon Archer was sentenced this week for his part in a scheme to defraud impoverished Native Americans of US $60 million in bonds. He will spend more than a year in jail and must forfeit US $15 million and pay $43 million in restitution. Hunter has denied any knowledge of the scheme. However, the Daily Mail reported yesterday, quote, emails show that Hunter was involved with other deals with the company and Archer throughout the period it was perpetrating the $60 million fraud from 2014 to 2016. Two of Hunter's former romantic partners have also appeared in court lately. London Roberts, a former employee at Biden's investment firm who is now the mother of his three-year-old daughter, testified before a grand jury in Delaware last month investigating Hunter's financial affairs. Her testimony remains secret. Another girlfriend, Zoe Keston, appeared before the same jury answering questions about Hunter's lavish lifestyle while they were together, staying in upmarket hotels in New York and Los Angeles in 2018. The New York Post quotes as saying that Biden directed her to withdraw thousands of dollars at a time from ATMs. All of this comes after two books, Laptop from Hell by Miranda Devine and Red Handed by Peter Schweitzer, revealed details about how the Biden family has made tens of millions of dollars from international deals using Joe's political connections. Much of the details were confirmed by emails and other records found on a laptop. Hunter left to be repaired at a shop in Delaware. The New York Times was saying as late as September 2021 that the revelations from the laptop were unsubstantiated. But even the New York Times is now investigating Hunter's affairs. In February 2022, it sued the State Department for access to emails sent by embassy officials in Romania between 2015 and 2019 that mentioned Hunter. And The Guardian, one of Joe Biden's staunchest supporters, in February 2022, said Hunter's affairs were now becoming hard to ignore. It quoted law scholar Jonathan Turley, saying Washington engages in protected corruption. It's how powerful ruling elites make much of their money, and Congress has never seriously tried to crack down on it. The children and spouses of powerful leaders continue to receive windfall payments from companies and foreign interests, but we've never quite seen the likes of Hunter Biden's enterprises. His contracts go beyond anything we've seen before. While campaigning for the presidency in 2020, Joe Biden dismissed suggestions that his son was involved in dubious deals. I have, we have great confidence in our son. Uh, I am not concerned about any accusations that have been made against him. It's used to get to me. 
I think it's kind of foul play, but uh, look, it is what it is, and uh, he's a grown man. He is the smartest man I know. I mean, in pure, pure intellectual capacity, um, and uh, and as long as he's good, we're good. Hunter also said in 2021 his critics had political motives. No, I don't think I made a mistake in taking the spot on the board. I think I made a mistake in terms of underestimating the uh, the way in which it would be used against me. Some commentators thought the war in Ukraine would be a welcome distraction for Biden, but not even Biden himself could ignore the domestic consequences of sending troops to the region and imposing sanctions on Russia. Defending freedom will have cost for us as well and here at home. We need to be honest about that. But as we will do but as we do this, I'm going to take robust action to make sure the pain of our sanctions is targeted at the Russian economy, not ours. Fewer and fewer Americans think Biden is up to this job. There's a new Harvard-Harris poll out today. This is the second poll in two days showing Joe Biden in the high 30s. Uh, according to that Harvard-Harris poll, Biden's job approval overall is 38%. On the economy, 33%. On immigration, 32%. On foreign affairs, 33%. On crime, 33%. On inflation, 28%. Those are horrendous numbers. Those numbers are vicious and brutal for Joe Biden. If those numbers are bad, they are likely to get worse as Americans learn more about Hunter's business activities. Fred Paul, Sky News Australia.